Hey guys, welcome back to my colorful country life. I have something fun to share with you all today. We're going to be playing around with some uh, different sets of markers. Now, I was recently contacted by Ohuhu and they reached out uh, expressing how much they love the channel and my coloring and offered to send me a set of their alcohol markers to try out a different medium, which was incredibly generous of them. However, as you all know, I primarily use other mediums in my coloring books, mostly colored pencils, um, also water mediums and all the glittery, shiny goodness. Um, I do have a small set of alcohol markers, which I do use mostly for PDFs and also in my Reptiloids book. And you may have seen some of these in my completed pages videos. Uh, the last one would have been from the Lizzie Gas download, I think back in September. Anyway, so... As much as I would have loved the set of alcohol markers for myself personally, because I don't have that many colors in my alcohol marker set, it isn't something that I use here in my videos or have used in my videos. And I didn't want to bring something to you all that we then probably weren't going to use in my color alongs. So for that reason, I did politely decline their offer. Now, Ohuhu being as amazing as they are, they got back to me with an offer to try out some of their other products instead. So, Ohuhu has very kindly sent me a set of 12 glitter markers and a set of 10 metallic markers, but also they very kindly sent me a surprise set of their Honolulu alcohol markers, which was very generous of them and very much appreciated. So we will also have a look at these in a moment too. Now, I don't believe any of these products are new to the market, but they are new to me. So let's swatch out some colors, take a closer look, and we may even add some sparkle to a coloring page that I'm currently working on. So first up, let's take a closer look into the glitter marker set because we all know I love sparkly things. I'm like a magpie. Is it magpies that are attracted to shiny objects? The bane of every Aussie at this time of year as it is swooping season. Um, so on the front of the packaging here, we have a little swatch of all the different colors and there's some instructions inside the book as well um, about how to activate the pen. So let's pull one out and take a closer look. So the barrels are super glittery. Can't wait to see if the markers, um, if the colors are just as glittery as well. Now, there are no color names or numbers on the barrels themselves, um, but the barrel is quite colorful, so that can help you identify the color. But if you really wanted to, you could get a laundry marker, maybe a Sharpie, and write a number on the barrel or on the end here, or even just get some whiteout uh, liquid paper for us Aussies, uh, put some on the end and then maybe swatch the color or on the tip here. Um, so on the barrel itself, it says, they are vibrant color, non-toxic and fine tip. Then you have your instructions, which say, which say <laughs> shake, push, write, and recap. So same process as activating your um, normal acrylic markers. And we have a plastic, hard plastic nib here. Do they come out? I don't want to pull it out. Um, now I did spot some tips on the instructions from the box. One second. Okay, so they say... Um, suitable for children over three years to avoid the problem of ink leakage when shaking the pen next time use up the ink in the pen tip every time without too much ink residue so I guess um, don't leave too much product on the tip use it all up before you put the the pen away um, it does say here after use wipe off the ink on the pen tip to avoid the ink blocking the ink outlet during the next use so what i sometimes do is with a damp paper towel just with some warm water um, just wipe off the top of the nib i only do that with the hard tip nibs okay so let's activate one And then I will activate the rest off screen. We'll just do this one here. So I'm just going to give them a good shake. That should be long enough. Does the lid fit on the end? No. Okay. So now we're going to press the tip down on the scrap paper. Oh, 
I only had to press it once. Look at that. Just pressed once. Now the ink is flowing almost to the end there. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. That is the prettiest pink colour. Very, I don't know if you can even see that. That came out looking so pretty. Okay, you know, now I'm going to activate all the rest and we're going to come back and swatch them. So let me activate the rest. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, now they're all activated and I have to say, I think I was falling in love with them all as I was activating them. I can't wait to swatch these out and show you. I'm just going to do rough swatches and as usual with me, right to left because I'm left-handed, but I'm going to zoom you right in. I've opened up my blinds so you can see how spectacularly glittery these pens are. I'll just zoom you guys in a little bit further. And I'm just going to swatch in the colour order that is on the front of the box. Okay, they're all swatched. I'm just going to lift it up and show you the shine. Hopefully you can see that. They say vibrant colours and they really are beautifully vibrant and really glittery and shiny. They're packed full of glitter and they all have a different type of glitter. So if we have a look, the dark blue here has a pinky purple glitter. This blue has a bluish green glitter we've got a yellow with a yellow glitter an orange with a yellow um, this purple has a purple glitter this purple has a blue glitter our red here has gold glitter the pink has pink glitter the green has green glitter this green has blue glitter and for some reason when I saw this color I was thinking of Christmas pages um, and this one here is so shiny. It's a white with a silver glitter. And we've got a black with a silver glitter as well. So super shiny. They were really juicy. Look at those colors. So um, I think I should put one to the test on a coloring page. Now I do have a magical jungle nearby and I am almost finished that double page. So let's try one out on one of those huge leaves and I'll just grab it one second. Okay, so I'm going to need to zoom you back out for this one. Okay, so you've probably seen this double page spread a hundred million times now on the channel. I am pretty much finished with this page. I've just got to outline the leaves so what color do i want to try out i'm thinking maybe this green with the blue glitter finish here this one might go well with these leaves so we might color um one of them and then this green here with the green glitter might go 
well with this leaf here this color so what about the yellows and the oranges maybe that one let's try the blue green color first which is this marker here so um i'll zoom in back in we'll color this one here Okay. Yeah, that's a good color match. So much glitter coming out. It's like I'm working with glitter, not an actual marker. Now for the pointy end. Try to keep between the lines. Now I haven't got anything behind this page, so we'll just check in a second to make sure it hasn't bled through. Um, will I do the other side? I better. Okay, I think that is a really good match. There's so much glitter payoff. Can I um, angle that so you can see it? I think so. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try the other green now on this leaf here. So that is this color and it's this one's got green glitter. So I don't know if this might be a bit light for this leaf, but let's try it out. Get that little dot in there. It's actually not too light at all. It looks nice. If I do say so myself. glitter actually looks a little bit like a pale blue from this angle a mix between a darker green and a pale blue I'm thinking I might need to shake it again oh no it's still coming out pretty juicy Okay, and put the cap back on. Let me show you that one. Are we sparkling in the sun? I think we are. And just flip over. Did we have any bleed through? No, we did not. You can see there, no bleed through. So... 
these pens are available to purchase on Amazon. Here in Australia, the current price is $21.99 as at the time of filming. Um, I hope you enjoy this glittery goodness as much as I did. I'm quite impressed with how much glitter is in there. The dry? Yeah, dries pretty quick too. Okay, so on to the next thing. Let's take a closer look at the metallic markers. So there are 10 in this set and I'll just zoom you back out a little bit. Okay, now on the back it says, uh, cover the pen cap immediately after use to avoid ink drying. To reach the optimal use, please lay the markers flat if not in use. Okay, so let's open it up and take one out. Ooh, the colours on these lids look really pretty. I can't wait to swatch these ones out. Okay, so we have the Ohuhu Metallic Marker Pen. I love the look of these markers. They look really fancy and they're very lightweight in your hand as well. Um, so it says water-based ink, odorless and xylene free. Uh, for opaque writing and decorating, even on dark and coloured paper. Oh, I have some black paper. I might pull that out and we might swatch them on the normal page and then swatch them on the black as well to see how they look. Um, light, fast and indelible. So there are no names or numbers that I can see. Um, so, okay, we have a brush tip and the ink is already there. There is no activation necessary. Um, let's swatch them out and I'm going to just first use the same paper that we swatched the glitter markers on. I'm just going to swatch them down here and then I might just swatch them out on some black paper as well to see how they look. So these are all the colours you get in this set and now let's swatch them out. Okay, so our caps fit on the end there. Um, we'll start here I think. I'll zoom you in. Okay, so the colours are actually a little bit darker than what I expected. I think I was thinking they would be a bit more um, pastel -y, just from the lid colours. So they are a little bit darker than their lid colours. And I'll just lift it up here. And hopefully you can see that metallic shine. So it is more of a subtle matte shine than a um, bright, shiny metallic. If that makes sense. I don't know if you can see that on there. So let me try that out on some black paper. I've got a little black sketch pad here. So I'll just scribble them on. So they do show up really well on dark paper too. As you can see, they are a more subtle metallic. It's not a um, shiny metallic. 
Hopefully you can see the metals in them there. Now, um, with these markers, they are up on Amazon Australia for $15 at the moment, and you get 10 metallic marker pens in that set. And that's just the swatch again on the normal plain paper. You can see the little shine there. So they seem to have like a, some seem to have silver. So that's got a silver shine to it. And then when I look at this one, I think it's got sort of like a gold shine. And this one too. Yeah. So let's now play around with the Ohuhu Honolulu alcohol marker set. And I will zoom it out a little bit. Now, I am not in any way an expert in using alcohol markers. Well, let's face it, I'm not actually an expert in anything, um, except my day job, just in case any of my clients may be listening. Um, but I am mostly a pencil colorist. So I did ask a few months ago, actually, in one of my completed pages video, if there was any interest in a color along featuring markers, whether alcohol or water-based markers. Um, and there was, I just never got around to doing one. There just isn't enough hours in the day at the moment. And, and I am putting out videos every day. So I could do with an extra day of the week. If anybody is listening and can make that happen. <laughs> um, so however, I am excited to finally dip my toes a little further into this medium with you today and have a play with these markers. So I am very grateful to Ohuhu for sending me some to try out, despite me originally polit politely declining this product. Um, it was very kind of them to send them to me anyway um, and I do really appreciate it uh, let me know down below if you would like a color along with alcohol markers most likely I will do it as a base with colored pencil laid on top which is how I normally use them um, if that is something you'd be interested in and uh, let me know and I can look at doing that for you guys so like I mentioned, these are the Ohuhu Honolulu 48 set of dual tip alcohol markers and they come in this simple but durable uh, black carry case with a handle here on top. Now I store my markers on their side like this. Um, so you could stack these on top of each other and use the handle here to pull out the set you want um, from your shelf or your drawers. It would be handy if they unzip this way actually. Um, it does have this little label on here which I'm going to leave for now. I think if you had multiple sets, it is one quick way to pick out the right one on your shelf. Um, but the name is also printed here on the front as well. So let's have a look inside. So here are our colors here. Now the color selection looks really pretty. A lot of um, pretty spring colors here. And we've got some stuff here in the back. Okay, so we have this soft plastic here. And it says, if you are coloring on thin paper, please put this pad between your coloring sheets to prevent any bleed through. That's really handy. It'd be good if they came in um, bigger sizes too, so you could lay it under your entire coloring page without having to move it around. Um, so we've got this little booklet here as well, um, which gives us different information on the different sets. We've also got these color swatch charts too. So um, we'll, we'll, we will fill these in together in a minute. So here is our little booklet about our markers. All the different collections you can purchase. Different questions and answers. So frequently asked questions, I'm assuming. Oh, yep. <laughs> it says it down here, Karen. Okay. There are the other series here. And here are the Honolulu series. So this is the one we have here, which is the uh, brush tip and the chisel tip. And some of the key features it says here, they're alcohol-based ink. They're available in 363 colors at the time this was printed. That is a lot of colors. Um, so like I said, the ones I have here are the brush and chisel tip. And they have the color name and number printed on the top of the cap. And the cap fits on the other end. So I'm assuming that just means 
Yep. Okay. That's handy. I always love it when the caps fit on the end. Oops. Okay. So, oh, it also says the tip is reversible as well. Over here. Um, if your tip is frayed, you can just pull it out and flip it around to the other side. Now, you can also purchase replacement tips for their markers as well. So... This is the whole Honolulu color range and all the different sets you can purchase. So I have the 48 set, um, which is these first two rows here, I believe. And it looks like a pretty good selection of colors. I'm really liking these blues and pinks. They look really pretty together, I think. Um, now, the pastel range over here has really caught my eye. And I think the skin tones will come in handy as well. Now, let's hope this isn't the beginning of a new addiction for me. Um, so I think we should go now and swatch these out and see what they look like. So I've got the swatch cards here. Colour swatch one, colour swatch two. I don't know why they're separated. Okay. Now, now to find the correct marker. That is the hard thing. Okay, PB10. So I'm just going to pull out a marker and find um, the number on the swatch sheet. That might be easier. So I'll zoom you in again. Hope you're not getting motion sickness from my constant zoom in, zoom out. Okay, what are we doing? PB10, which is turquoise green light, this one here. So I'm just going to do rough swatches oh and I've gone and put it on the wrong one I knew that was going to happen GY5 okay what I'll do is I'll get find G5 and swap it uh, where is it here we go that's a lesson in being a little bit more organized Karen <laughs> So this is actually G5, and I'm going to put it at GY5. That is more your turquoise blue ink. Um, let me get a pen and put an arrow so we know I've swapped them around. Let's hope I don't do that anymore, and otherwise I'm going to have little um, arrows and stuff everywhere. So, all right, what's next? I really should have done this in order. That's a really nice light grey, actually. What's next? Double one o four. Here we go. So that's our brush tip, and we have that's the chisel tip there. It's very broad, nice and thick.
Okay, so there are all of our colors swatched. And we also have the colorless blender in the pack as well. Now the colors are a really good range. I especially love how many greens are in this set because it is my most used color, I think. I'm really loving these light pastel type of colors. They're really pretty. Um, special shout out to Potato Brown. What a fun color name. I don't know who comes up with these color names and it does actually look like um, a brown potato skin. Um, I can imagine saying that in a color along video now. We're going to be using Potato Brown. I mean, who doesn't like potatoes? Um, so, let me find a price for you all. Um, okay, they are not showing on Amazon Australia. Why can I not find them? Uh, I can't find the exact same set. So, Amazon US, it is out of stock, so it's not giving me a price. Um, now, on the Ohuhu website, it is showing them as... Uh, 64 Australian dollars for the same set that I have here. So I hope you enjoyed exploring something a little bit different from me today. Uh, well, not quite so different because we do have a lot of glitter and shine in there as well. Um, if you're interested in seeing more markers, um, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Now I think I'm going to go and finish my magical jungle page with those glittery shiny markers and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Until then, happy colouring and bye for now.